So for the insulation in the, in the main wall, for the interior section of the walls, we do blown in fiberglass. And so the first step of that blown in fiberglass is to staple up the cloth onto the interior studs. And that will get stapled with a staple literally every quarter inch throughout. And then each bay will be slit and fiberglass is pumped in under pressure. And the beauty of blown in fiberglass insulation, dense pack, is that it is almost impossible to get wrong. When they pump this cavity full of insulation, every wire, every electrical box, every penetration, every little uh, detail will be filled to the brim under pressure with that fiberglass insulation. Much superior to fiberglass bat insulation that is almost impossible to install with a complete connection to every surface within the wall cavity. Just because of the nature of it being a blanket, a bat, that you have to cut and carve to make it fit into the, the wires and other things that are in the wall, it's almost impossible to install fiberglass bat insulation properly. It's almost impossible to install blown in dense pack fiberglass insulation incorrectly. So uh, we're big fans of the uh, robustness of this insulation system. So he's going to blow that into a density that fills every little nook and cranny. You can see as he's blowing in the dense pack fiberglass insulation that's held in by the fabric netting, he's going to fill that cavity until that cavity has been pressurized to a certain level. Fills every little nook and cranny. One of the reasons that we are fans of fiberglass insulation is that the material by its very nature is inert. It is not relying on a secondary chemical treatment to make it impervious to pests and water damage. There's never going to be uh, a, a pest, a, a rodent, an insect that's going to want to eat this fiberglass. Um, if moisture gets into it, it does not rely on uh, other products to keep it from molding and so just by its very nature it's inert again we uh, like the robustness of that approach what is the product so the product is fiberglass and it's made from spun glass fibers so you can see here this cavity that's been blown in with fiberglass it actually has a, some pressure to it it's been densely packed and that helps us assure that proper installation that we're after. So you can see here, this is the wall between the house and the garage. And most houses don't treat that wall uh, any differently than, than other interior walls. But for our passive house, we need to understand that this is part of the envelope. And we have to treat this wall exactly the same as we treat the other exterior walls of the house. So we've wrapped it in blue skin and maintain uh, a very good air seal between the house and the garage. And then we've added our Roxol insulation. So Roxol is a product that's made from uh, spun basalt. So it's actually a mineral wool. Uh, it's very hydrophobic. In other words, it'll shed water um, and creates the exterior portion of our insulation package when combined with the fiberglass inside that's how we get to our R50 insulation value. So our exterior insulation, Roxol mineral wool insulation, is installed by placing the three inch thick panels of Roxol against the house and then actually fastening them to the house with our rain screen. So we've got one by four dug fur battens fastened with pretty hefty screws. And so each screw goes in and needs to land on a stud. And if they miss the stud, then they have to leave it. And so uh, they did a pretty good job with their accuracy. Uh, but this is what creates our, our rain screen and installs our rock sole insulation. So down here, you will see our foam insulation. So underneath the slab, we have 12 inches of rigid foam insulation coming up. And around the sides, we have four inches of rigid foam insulation that actually served as the form boards 
of our concrete pour. 